E-N-I Arts Now. I have the honor of introducing Nicole St. Laurent. She is the founder of Urban Massage and Wellness located in uh, here in St. Albert in uh, the Bellrose area. Uh, Nicole is actually another uh, apex athlete with hobbies in uh, extreme sports such as mountain biking and downhill skiing. Um, she wound up breaking her hand three months after opening Urban Massage and uh, currently in the last five years she was able to grow from two people to uh, 19 staff in those five years. Yet most people don't know that Nicole at one point in her life uh, had uh, dreadlocks down to her waist and she lived in a van down in New Zealand. So I will pass it on to you, Nicole. So as Kyle said, I am Nicole St. Laurent, owner of Urban Massage and Wellness in St. Albert. Uh, today, I would like to introduce a little about me, about the clinic and focus on how we can help you manage your aches and pains as well as help you better manage your day-to-day -day stresses. Um, we, a little about me. I love travel, reading, and outdoor adventures, camping, food, friends, and anything that puts me next to a water feature. Bonus if I get to do it with my favorite uh, nephew. And as promised in the intro, there's, there's a picture of the dreads just for, for everyone to see there. I opened Urban Massage and Wellness in 2017 with a desire to provide a non-competitive environment and work with a team that focused on collaborative client care. I also just really wanted a purple floor. The benefits of massage therapy are extensive as are the reasons clients seek massage. We believe regular massage is essential for a healthy life, both physically and mentally. Much of our treatment approach is to educate our clients on those benefits and to provide practical stretches, exercises, and tips that they can take into their day-to-day. -day. My objective with this presentation is to help you understand how massage therapy can be a tremendous tool to simultaneously care for both your physical and mental well-being. There are two main reasons that you might seek out massage therapy. Either you're stressed out or something hurts. Perhaps the most common reason for massage therapy is structure related. Aches or pains in one area or across multiple areas of the body. We spend most of our days with our world in front of us. Desk work, trade work, caring children, watching TV, texting, hobbies. Little by little, the muscles on the front of our bodies get tighter and shorter and your posture starts to hunch over as your back gets tight. You start to notice a pain in your hip, back or neck as your shoulders scrunch up to your ears, your jaw clenches and headaches become a daily occurrence. You can ignore this for a little while, but eventually the pains in your body start affecting your daily activities and you start to feel stressed. Now physical pain in and of itself can create stress, but throw a yes in the chat if you've ever said, I carry my stress in my neck and shoulders. Demands on our time, and energy are constantly increasing. We are inundated with work, family, and a never ending to-do list of obligations and responsibilities. These can feel like weights on our shoulders and you may notice that stress can create a posture of its own. Shoulders press forward, scrunched up to the ears, jaw clenched, headache, sound familiar? The pressures to achieve more and do more often leave people neglecting their own needs and self-care resulting in physical pain and dysfunction, depleted energy resources, overwhelm and burnout. This also increases the levels of a stress hormone in the body, cortisol. Too much cortisol for too long can lead to issues such as chronic fatigue, digestive imbalances, increased blood pressure, difficulty recovery from exercise, poor sleep, and many more. So here's the self-reflection question of the day. Am I stressed because I'm in pain or am I in pain because I'm stressed? That question is as straightforward as what came first, the chicken or the egg. Most simply put, structure affects function and vice versa. Whether your daily repetitive activities created a pattern of bad posture in your body or chronic stress caused you to contract into a less optimal posture, the result remains the same. Where there is lack of space in the body, there is pain. Your body is contracted, which limits the flow of all of your systems, cardiovascular, respiratory, 
lymphatics, emotions, etc. Massage therapy can create space in your body for both the mental and physical components and help you break out of this stress loop. Massage therapy will relax muscle tension, decrease pain, and increase mobility. These lists are not complete. In the physical side, we have improving posture, reducing or eliminating pain, decrease muscular tension, improve joint mobility and range of motion, enhance your athletic performance for all those apex athletes out there, speed healing after surgeries or recovery or injuries, reduce pain and swelling, lessen the formation of excessive scar tissue, promote deeper and easier breathing, improve circulation of blood and movement of lymph fluids and strengthen the immune system. On the mental side, we can relieve mental stress, balance the nervous system. I'm sure everyone has heard so much about the vagus nerve lately and its importance in all that you do. Promote a relaxed state of mental alertness, fosters peace of mind, reduce anxiety, improve the ability to monitor stress signals and respond appropriately, enhance capacity for calm thinking and creativity, fosters feelings of emotional well being, reduce the levels of anxiety, and increase your awareness of your mind body connection. More mobility, especially in the rib cage, will increase lung capacity, which allows for deeper, fuller breaths, which is proven to relax the nervous system. This alone will help reduce levels of the stress hormone cortisol. One study found that a 60 minute massage could reduce cortisol levels by up to 30%. Decreasing your stress will improve your posture and an improved posture will directly improve your ability to handle stress. The effects and benefits of massage compound over time. So it's important to note that it needs to be a regular practice not just a once in a while luxury, but a non-negotiable date with yourself. One thing that I always like to share with my clients is that yes, massage and treatments are important, but even more important are the small habits you implement into each day. You could come for a massage every single day, but there are still 23 hours that you can unravel all the good. Take a minute, a few times throughout your day, soften your forehead, unclench your jaw, Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Drop your shoulders from your ears and roll them open. Take a deep breath, relax, and be present. You should sit in meditation for 20 minutes every day, unless you're too busy, and then you should sit for an hour. I invite you now to enjoy me for a short meditation. Gently close your eyes or soften your gaze. Breathe, notice it, exactly as it is, in and out. Observe it as it naturally expands on the inhale and releases passively on the exhales. Notice the inherent balance between the two parts of the breath. Let it be a mirror. Massive growth and expansion and productivity on the inhale, but that has to be balanced with time of relaxation and recovery, like on the exhale. Open your eyes and slowly check in with your body. Notice how you feel, hopefully a little more ready to take on the rest of the day. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me and I look forward to seeing you on the table. He and I start now, like everyone says it. Are we all saying it? I'm confused. What are you saying now? Do we all say do you and I? Oh, terrible. Yeah. 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 Start me out. Do you want to say do you and I? You say know. it more it, casually. Like yeah. we're not trying to rehearse the most impossible <laughs> phrase in the world. Now. Now. Be in now. Be in That was the best one yet. <laughs>